terrestrial TV. We're talking about extraterrestrials. The extra is kind. Yeah. Yo, where? Yeah. Who? What's the regular terrestrials? Us? Yeah. Yeah. This is our. This is our. This is our planet. So we just terrestrials. Yeah, just terrestrial. What's the definition of terrestrial? Nigga, I'm not gonna look that shit up. I'm not that intelligence to even bring that shit off the top of my dome. I'm not an intelligence to use Google. <laughs> I'm about to Google the fuck out of it now. <laughs> now nah, you want to Google terrestrial the difference, terrestrial and difference between extraterrestrial. What we're talking of, about you on or relating, relating to the to earth. earth. Mm-hmm. Extra. But, uh, but but since this planet, it, since our body doesn't really like work with this planet the way it's supposed to, are we not the extraterrestrials? Oh, find out well, next on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, well, you know, it's, <laughs> we're talking about UFOs. Uh, supposedly, you know, they're they're a known thing. They're not fucking some made up story time bedtime thing anymore. You know. With the David Grush coming out in front of testifying in front of Congress, and them actually having programs in place that you can go tell uh, a tip that you can actually report your videos to. It's not something out of this world. So, is is it possible that we're genetically engineered by these aliens? Do y'all think that's a possible? That's it's, one of the possibility. It's completely possible. Yes, I said this before um, when we were you know kind of want something different is if you're looking at how we are engineered or or how we're made just so and i know we can uh what do you call that uh evolve but if you look at how we're engineered we're engineered just so everything works like down to the molecule together like machinery and i said this what if the way we were made is like machinery but instead of machinery and metal and plastic we're made with a different material Designed to procreate. Could have been grown. You know what I mean? Well, majority of the things on this earth is designed to procreate. There's there's more things on this earth that uh, sentient to have more in common with the laws that the earth provides than we do. You know what I mean? Like just like just breathing the oxygen itself. You know what I mean? The 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 air isn't made of primarily uh, uh, oxygen. What's it got it's in there? What's it? Uh, carbon monoxide or, or hydrogen? So all different types of shit. Don't give me the lying, but I I could always look it up. I, I mean, know nigga, nigga ain't no scientist. Where he? I'm, oh, I'm doctor, not a scientist. Doctor photosynthesis over here. Well, listen, I just break it down like this. They said we evolved from some fucking monkeys, which is hey, they want you to believe this too. I was gonna say I don't believe that. I don't believe. But listen, that. I'm not, I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna go there. We're one are we one one different thing in our DNA is different than a monkey. The primates has been here. Why haven't these monkeys over the same time we've been evolving on this planet as they've been evolving, having a monkey fucking walked out of the jungle yet talking and and having this type of intelligence? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. pop like monkeys. Why haven't they evolved? Let's say, just for argument's sake, right here, mm-hmm. that UFOs came to this planet a million years ago and they say look we got we have our dna but our dna is not inhabitable with this planet Mm -hmm. here go these primates over here let's catch a capture a couple of them inject our dna into them and make it compatible and they're compatible with this planet and when they respond they start respawning more and more beings like us because supposedly we evolved from the monkey to Neanderthals to what was the other one? About the pit Homo the habilis, pot. Homo. It, there's Hop way pit. more. Yeah, there's it's like five, more. it's like five. It's like four or yeah. five different species of humans. Yeah, uh, the Denilisovas. Even even the DNA between certain like black and white people, like we we descend different from. We're from different descendants of the humans that evolved on this planet. Like we're a different breed. It's so crazy. I'm pros. So no, yeah, you was for a second. So that's what I'm saying. I think it's so interesting when you do think about that, Kevin. I want you to go ahead. I want you to finish. But I'm saying, like, when you talk about like the different races and all that, and I get it from. 
different, you know, uh, environments that we all kind of grew in. But still, there's certain things where I just don't realize, I don't understand why certain things are different. Like the eye thing with the um, with people of Asian descent. How, so what made them do that? Uh, well, there's 14 different species of humans. 14. Okay. Homo aggressus, Homo erectus, Homo, listen, I can't pronounce this shit. I'm not even going to fucking try, but I'm saying. Maybe, maybe a certain races, a couple of races of aliens, fucking descended on this planet and say, "Hey, look." That's what I was saying. This is this is my section. This mm-hmm. is your section. Okay. Hey, They're Frank. This monkey's yours. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, <laughs> they're going to believe, you know, because everybody, if you look at different different religions around the world, they're always talking about their gods. Every guy, mm-hmm. even our guy, even Christian, they come from the heavens, the stars, they come from above. Mm-hmm. You know, they're always des- described as having these out-of-worldly powers, the power to harness lightning and, and, and blow up entire cities and 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 fly across the skies at, at crazy speeds. Now like Jesus I said, it's just beating people and healing people. I don't know about yeah. blowing up cities. Well, he was healing people. He blew up. He did. He blew up. Um, uh, what's that fucking city called? What's the one Jesus ain't do that. God did it when they was all in there fucking and shit like that. What was that mm-hmm. shit called? Uh, Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. And, Gomorrah. and they said, you know, don't turn around. Oh, or you'll be turned to dust. Yeah, you'll be turned mm-hmm. to dust if you look. And the light came down and turned everybody in there to stone. So I say this always. I That's always crazy. reference that bitch named Gamora and uh, and what's starting that? to the galaxy. Yeah, yeah. that's why. So I always break this down. Like I always break this down. I always say this shit. When you see something that you can't explain, you explain it in the best way you know with the best what's available to you at the time. It's just like me right. dropping a cell phone in the fourteen hundreds, and they're seeing this shit. How they would explain it was this little black box that little people were inside pictures. that you can see little pictures you can communicate your thoughts by words and it would and another human would pick it up on they wouldn't be able to explain it so mm, you go back and look at for magic yeah exactly because you look at witch. pictures of cave drawings or pictures and uh and uh, you know, on Egyptian walls and shit like that, and the pyramids and stuff. It's like, man, some of these shits look like fucking flying saucers and, and planes. Like that looks like a spacesuit. Maybe that headdress. Yeah. Yeah, that this Birds. Egyptian was like a bird man. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that was his suit to keep him from, you know, have to breathe on his planet, and that was the best way they can draw it to see how it looks, because. Suppose that these air- aircrafts that they rec- uh, um, reclaimed in the United States, they said some of these shits was they dug them up, mm. and where the layer where they dug them up at is like really, yeah, a lot of some space. You got to go back and look at it. Uh, some spacecrafts they recovered were recovered by archaeology digs and shit. Like they dug it up and they're like, man, this this shouldn't yeah. be here. Cash all question. Where they digging uh, at in the United States? Where they Dig digging all- at? Yeah. To find what, like hieroglyphics? Like, yeah, yeah. anything like that. Anything well, like I know they found ancient. them in the I know they found like ancient hieroglyphics in the Grand Canyons. So they, they're trying to say that Egyptians walked through the Grand Canyons, and there's different, you know, hieroglyphs of, of things that they've seen or encountered mm. but then there's see there's a whole nother part to that we'll get into we'll get into that when it comes to religion you know what i mean but in all honesty just like new york like had the graffiti movement i just feel like them niggas just walking around with a chisel like nah nigga tag you know tag up there you know tag on the pyramid wall like it could have just been that too niggas was just oh, tagging wow. they they moniker spaceman wow. or dog dude or some shit like you never know well, I mean, well, most of these shits is like how they find like shit like this might have been here is like they doing like a project like, hey, we're digging for a new highway road. 
and they start digging up the, you know, start digging up stuff for the highway and discover, oh, you know, this is an ancient Indian burial ground. Like this is, this has to be dug up and excavated and we got to get everything out of there. And they said, mm-hmm. that's how they will find most of these spacecrafts. Like not all spacecrafts are just crash landed here. We find and we recover them and bring them back. Some of these things been here before. And you can see mm-hmm. there's a, or they were here first. It was a, yeah, or they were here first. Is a, a is a ancient painting. I, I should have brought, I should have put it up on here. I might have well, it. That has a UFO in the background that shows that I might have it. So uh, we'll see if I do, but go ahead, Dre. What you about to say? And you know what? That 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 also throws me off too, because even if it was here before, and you ask who created us or who created who created life on this planet, then because I think that's where the that's where everything goes like one way or the other. Because if we were engineered and the other the other animals were native to this planet, okay, who created those? Like you know, what I'm saying either there is yeah. that if there is that God or is there or there's not. Like you understand, so well, that that's what throws me off when you really start to really pull back the the, the thread of this thing. Well, here, here's the thing: most of these, most of the stuff on this planet had like this natural. It has a natural evolution. They said it was some some crazy thing that the human brain doubled its size within a hundred year period, which is fucking abnormal compared to everything else that was evolving at the same time. A hundred years. What caused what calls our brain to double in size? You just, you, that people like, oh, that's, oh, that's just anything. The, when shit evolves, it evolves for a certain reason. You know what I'm saying? Like you got right. fish that was saying they would come on land. They was, they was just trying to come on land because it was <clears> more food on land. So they will evolve from able to come on land or their gills will eventually turn into lungs and, and and they can exist out of the water shit just don't evolve for no reason like what but what causes a brain to pretty much double in size like what was the need for it like well not only that but what all right let's just take the whole aspect of a fish evolving what makes a fish go outside of water and make that evolution happen because if a fish only knows water for it to go out out of water it would have to have a, a want while it's in water like hmm. some finding nemo shit you know what i'm saying oh i gotta get out of here to get is over there. And land. the only way i could get over there is if i can evolve what like it's like if they say first of all i don't believe that whole man evolved from eight Shit, I think that shit. Me personally, I think that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because if that's the case, we still have apes. They'd still be evolving. We'd watch them as they were evolving to this day. Either that, or there'd be no and fucking apes. Shit. There, there would be no apes because they would have well, all evolved by now. You know what I mean? I, we, we came from either a higher power, or we were the higher power. You know what I mean? And for that to happen, like taking that fish, a fish out of water scenario. It's not like it's not like a turtle where a turtle is was is born on land but can go in water. You know what I mean? Or snake. Like, shit like, like here that. It is. They said Snurf. the human the human brain more than doubled in size from around two million years ago to about ten thousand years ago. That's it, that's What'd a, you say? Say it one more time. The human brain more than doubled in size from around two million years ago. To about ten thousand years ago, so within about a hundred, a hundred and ninety million years, the brain doubled in size. Got you. That, that okay? That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah, get what I'm saying. Which is strange for evolution because that's a long time, that's a long time though, Kev. If for, but that's for, a, for things to change, for sure. But it's still a small window. Like it's people don't understand, like. Okay, say I like I a can't bird. say that. Okay, because environments change and you have to adapt. So ad- adaptation is real. Like, like that's but why with would a brain, a brain. I can also, see. We don't even know if there was I some type see. of reset in between that time period. You know, what I mean, there, well, there okay. could be a from the whole conspiracy of, of flat like Earth. Earth. What, what about the brain? In what, between that, why would the brain? Why would the brain? I could see if our strength doubled in size. 
the ability, claws, the stuff to pro- actually naturally protect you from species getting at you, getting at you. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, this this animal used to be a land based animal, but due to predators always attacking it, it grew to be able to have the ability to live in the treetops. It grew uh, longer arms to swing from tree limbs. If, if you're talking about the ability- hundreds of millions of years. About no, no, I said hundreds of millions of years, then that could very well happen. That's all well, I'm saying. Could have been, or it could have been cross some type of crossbreeding. But some I'm saying it, it makes no sense for a brain. A brain. I'm, I understand the brain is, is good for thinking and knowing stuff, but mm-hmm. why a brain? Why not something that really protects you? Like if if there's no I mean, humans that's your brain, like, does. Hey, they they grew up in Russia. People in Russia evolved to, to be to grow fur and to protect them from the harsh elements or something like that. Like well, so, all the humans I mean, I, across, take it like this. across we, the whole planet, as you, their brain doubled in size. Yeah, but as you grow, you could take examples of of humans that are around today. Some humans aren't as smart as others. There's there's different scales, and as a human being uh, against all the other animals. Uh, the habitat, this earth, we are considered the ones that are critical thinkers, correct? Most mm-hmm. most other animals go off of instinct. They do what they know because it's it's, it's a primal thing. It's instinctual. But yeah. for us, we can have the have the we have the actual ability to step back, think about an outcome that may happen or different outcomes, and try to choose a path Oops. that we want to go down to make that happen. That mm-hmm. that that is. There's no other, I mean, at least to my knowledge, there's no other animal, you know what I mean, that can that'll do that. So over time, as you critically think, it's your brain is like a big ass muscle. As you as the thought process and people who are born with bigger muscles than others, they they start to think more. It's like it's like exercising their mind. You know what I mean? And then if they procreate and they have that ability. Then more than likely the next the next child or being would they would it would be hereditary. They would inherit that brain, that mass. And mm-hmm. as they're growing older, the ones who are smart are teaching the younger who are taking that in as a sponge. You know what I mean? I don't know if the okay. actual size of a brain would ha, ha, I do bigger or, or worse. I mean bigger or the smaller. Bigger, yeah, and I don't brain. know, and I don't know have, are they finding brains? From humans from millions of years ago, because Probably I thought space, that when you die, it was, the space in the, the skull, the cavity of your skull, the cavity of your skull. That's how they was able to discover it. Okay, here's the thing: we evolved from monkeys, right? Just say we evolved. Just say we take that theory. I won't. We evolved from monkeys. Speak from yourself, okay? Buddy. But just say I won't. Let's just put the th- let's just put the theory out there. That's how they got it. <laughs> okay. Monkeys are fucking each other. Whatever. Our brains start to double in size. All these monkeys is fucking. Only a certain <laughs> small, that went way select, left. but no, only a listen. Only a certain small select group goes off, and their brain keeps doubling in sizes. But this mm-hmm. other group of monkeys, they it's still re- remain the same over this over this hundred and ninety million years evolution process. Mm-hmm. Like that, we're going one way, and they're just staying right there. Like monkeys right. do the same things we do. They got groups. They they stay in groups. They hunt and pack. They do inv- They use tools. They yes. do have. They they do have. You know, like their society is set up. Like, hey, I'm the top monkey. These are my generals. They, they who they obey me. There's certain laws. It's certain laws amongst top the monkey. groups. We were, ter- you know, besides being territorial and everything like that. If you this show that uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, Chimp. Chimp Empire, Chimp Empire, is, which is crazy. It's wild. It's a fucking wild show. But it Something just shows like how new Fifty Cent show. But yeah. it's like they, they, they Chimp was filming Empire. this. They was filming these monkeys, and it was like, man, they're not that far. Chimp from Empire. What, what stop? What stop Planet them? Of the Apes, that would have been a what stop them from evolving Chimp to Empire. us? What stop them? And what? And how the hell did this little group just branch off and become what we are today? No one can explain that. That's the thing. No one can. But the scientists that that come up with all this, 
out of the scientists, no one can explain why some of them just decided, nah, y'all can evolve. I'm good. Nah, man, it was some type yes. of alien, some type Intervention. of alien, extraterrestrial life force that was mm. like, oh, let's try to mate with these big ass monkeys. It's apes. And and next thing you know, the horny ape alien. had a baby. You know what I mean? Or no, they could have did some type of, ins- uh, you know what I mean, insemination. insemination. Like they didn't, yeah, they didn't have to necessarily. Who knows if they even have sexual organs? You know what I mean? They might do I, stuff I, to make things procreate. You know what I mean? And then and then a different species evolved. Just like you get, you take two dogs that are different, uh, different breeds, and you come out with a weird looking dog. You know what I mean? You're like, oh man, this shit look half and half. That would technically be us, right? Half, half monkey, extraterrestrial, half monkey type. Like, shit. look we at the hair. Brains. Yeah, hair comes yeah. out your face. Lo- now, I want to believe. You want to love bananas? Yeah, I want to believe. Whip Wop <laughs> was drinking Space Forty and got off the plane and did some wild <laughs> shit and fucked the monkey. <laughs> it ain't like the plane. Whip <laughs> Or the oh, other way around, you know what I mean? Oh, they, man, alien, alien, alien came and, and a monkey and raped they were, Yeah, and a monkey. Oh, he raped the monkey. Ass. He caught a monkey. Kind of like the Ace Ventura. <laughs> a space, a space alien was flying through Drake on the space for it. He got too drunk off some space juice. Well, came down to fuck the monkey on some weird shit. Well, well let me Jeez. ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Put your thinking caps on. Let's not talk about fucking a monkey. Thinking cat, thinking cat. <laughs> Let's not talk about fucking a monkey. Let's talk about them inseminating human human DNA into a monkey or vice versa. Do you really think something's coming out of that? Because I don't think so. Why don't you? No, I don't. Has it happened? Because they would have tried. You ain't got to fuck a monkey. You could just use mm. insemination the same exact way. You can take the embryo. I don't know if you guys heard about this years and years ago. I haven't heard anything since. Years and years ago, they found... Um, Something with like a preserved woolly mammoth. It was like a preserved woolly mammoth somehow. And they took like the DNA and spliced it with an elephant. And it was supposed to obviously come out within woolly mammoth. Right? I don't know what happened since then, if they even did it. But that was a possibility. So why couldn't they do it with a... Like, if they're going to try, why not try? Like, yo, let's make a super, super ape man or some shit. Oh, you know they what I'm saying? Oh, they did. How do you know, so, do you know they did? Where they, is he and what did they do? I think Russia, was, Russia, Russia, or Germany was having a uh, uh, had a project, an underground project where they was that was Rocky DNA. Four. <laughs> oh man, go ahead. Go I'm ahead. just saying, you might be. You might All right, be man. Go ahead, man. I, I'm going to Google no, go this. Go Got to Google. This go is a podcast. Ahead. That's what Google's used for. Go ahead, talk. I don't yeah, Because so. if they did it, I. Feel- like they would have did more of it if they got a chance to do shit like that they're going to keep doing it if it comes out successfully if it comes out successfully and they can turn that motherfucker into a mindless think about what they do to monkeys now or, or apes now you know what i'm saying forcibly teaching them sign language they don't want to know that shit well i mean what if there was some type of catalyst that they used you know, that the, that the alien could use to alter certain dna when they're splicing it compared to what we could they could remember remember if yeah, I'm gonna say Kev said Kev was saying something earlier about uh in 19 1940s, I guess it was 1947 when they were doing Project uh Blue Book and they were having all these different alien sightings and shit like that. That mm-hmm. there was uh or you or you put up the video with Billy Carson where uh they were able to uh propel from each That's pole right. to pole. 50 years oh, yeah. ago, we had we didn't have that type of technology. Correct. They were able to reverse it. So if they know stuff that we don't, and they're thousands of years ahead of us already, yeah. millions of years ahead of us, technically, if we're going back all the way to how long how long did you say it was, Kev? Like 98 million years in between the double yeah, of our brain. Some it shit like that. It was, it was the Soviet Union motherfucker that tried to splice uh, unsuccessfully <laughs> tried to splice a human being with a fucking monkey. It was unsuccessful. So they couldn't. In the 1920s, right? So they couldn't. Right. That, was, that was my point. Though. That they couldn't. They yeah, couldn't. That was the 1920s. So now, so so here's what I'm trying to prove. In 2019, unconfirmed reports surfaced that a term of professors led by Juan Carlos. Oh, it could have had to be bigger than Juan. Yeah, and the U.S. successfully produced the first human monkey chimera. <laughs> so they didn't. They unsuccessfully. You said. 
in in two, in 1920 it was unsuccessful, but supposedly now in 2019 somewhere in the U.S. has successfully produced the first human monkey chimera. 100 right, years gotta, later. All right, I got to see this little motherfucker then. 100 years I'm, later, basically. Because what I was trying to prove is that with this evolution thought process by saying they could do it with the bully mammoth and the elephant, that we should technically be able to a lot more simply do it with a monkey and a human being. Well, the aliens can do it because they're fucking millions. Supposedly, they're millions. That's my point. <laughs> if, if, That's I my point. Just, well, let, let's just move this. Let's move this fucking ball along. What the fuck is the purpose of these aliens and why are they always so spotted? Is it for help or is it for harm? Let's start off. Show off the alien fits. Let's start with the helping. Now, a lot of people have cited aliens, had all, a lot of them had the same story that they were coming here. People who talked to them say they was coming here to try to save the earth from doom, that we was eventually in the process of destroying mm-hmm. our planet and they were trying to help us and prevent it and, and help us get this thing turned around. Do That's y'all some niggas live of... here too? Huh? <laughs> That's why. Hey, some niggas live here too. Because who cares? That's like going to Mars, like, yo, y'all better stop. Mars about to go crazy. I don't give a fuck. I don't live here. Dre, Dre that's that's dumb to say because <laughs> right here on Earth, we do shit like, hey, let's save the rainforest or let's save uh well, last this you see me save species. a rainforest. Or it's, let's save the uh, uh elephants are going extinct. Like, what's the purpose of an elephant? Like, but we go out our way in America and other countries to save an elephant in Africa from going extinct. So what's the difference? Maybe they're saying, hey, we don't want this species of people to go extinct. These little, our little vacation spot that I like to go visit. I go like, I like to go because watch. We're the these cause humans. of their extinction. We are the cause of the extinction of these different animals from hunting. Well, to... who, said the, who said the aliens wasn't either? Who said the aliens didn't, didn't? Hey, here go a little bit of our technology, humans. Go ahead and play with it. And you dumb that's, motherfuckers, that's... You, you come up with the atomic bomb. That's a good point. That's a good point. I don't make it the aliens' fault. They show you technology. It, it and you does because they like we shouldn't have gave these stupid apes a bomb. Nah, bro. You go like with apes. I give you, that's like if I give you uh, uh, a wishbone and a rubber band, and you decide to make a slingshot and put a rock in it and slingshot somebody in the face. That's not my fault that you took those two, those two, three items that I gave you and turned it into something lethal. And and I will take it back. <laughs> yeah. Now, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's not that would be the aliens' fault. They Take the internet you, back, aliens. They try to show you one thing, and you decide to use it another way. That's you. That's not on them. They probably looking at you like that's fucking dumbass. You know what I mean? Like we well, show you how to do this, this, and you gonna learn to do this? Nah, nah. Now y'all deserve. It. I'm trying to show y'all how to make something better, and you're using it for something different. If we go with that Billy Carson, that Billy Carson video, right? Because to me, this opens up a whole nother can of worms. If we go with that Billy Carson video and there is a mass that's, that's I forget what size he said it was. It was some crazy size, like the size of like fucking South America. In our atmosphere, or not in our atmosphere, right outside our atmosphere, like that's been there for 13 million years, he says. Then I would have to figure that they have a whole bunch of like camera-like things and they're just watching us. Yeah, how come and we, trying to guide we've us. never seen how come we can't just see it in a in a telescope if it's right outside of our yeah. atmosphere? It's called the second moon that we supposedly had that flew through our atmosphere for a couple of months. I mean it's here right <laughs> it's now, what, supposedly. When, is it here now? Because I haven't seen it. It's here, it's I haven't only seen it either, it only, it, hey. it's only here on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> is that, I'm about to say if that's the real case, and, then it's blocking out a corner of the moon as it flies as it, at nighttime as it comes up. With, Somebody when it's show a full me moon is somewhere else. So I gotta show me that. I gotta see the second moon, the sailor moon, or whatever the fuck it is. But I'm Ash saying that 2024 PTS enters the Earth orbit September 29th and departs November 25th. So it's here. It's called a mini just, moon. I just feel like this, right? The you size of a city bus. Arrogant. You have to you have to f- be pretty arrogant to say, okay, let's just let's say throw every other theory we have out and say that 
we live in the universe. And the universe is vast. And we have second moons and asteroids and all this stuff going on, but we're the only sentient beings out there. That doesn't make any sense to me anyway. That's the probability but the probability of that is is very low to say that we're the only sentient beings. That doesn't make any sense. You have to assume that there's intelligent life somewhere. And if there is intelligent life somewhere and you haven't seen it yet or you haven't seen any signs of it means either somebody's holding it back from you or this whole thing is bullshit to begin with. Or you said, you really, said the word really, right there, Eric. really good in their, at their job. No, it's not. Well, they're really that. good. I'm just saying. I mean, the alien, they leave no trace behind. They're sightings, but you but you can never get a hold of them. They make they sh- if 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 this whole situation is real, they're showing up. They're going past navy fucking boats and and fucking this, air force planes, that's all types of shit. They're flying around, but recording. they can never catch them. There's 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 no actual proof. These recordings no, proof. are just it's not it's not proof of a living being outside of us outside of this earth there's not it's just well, it's, sightings of stuff nobody's actually captured them and said yo we have an alien and it's here and we're learning from him now and well, then now mm-hmm. they're showing up you know what i mean like a regular they, person yeah the government okay well according to david grush who's a high-ranking military officer that was involved in these programs we have recovered bodies and they're doing <clears throat> dissections so, they, it's about the government. Not, yeah, the government is not going to let you testify in front of fucking Congress that the earth is fucking flat. Okay? Or fucking lizard men exist. They're not going to be like, unless it's some credibility, you're not going to want to sit there with egg on your face. I let this fucking idiot testify. You have some credibility in which you right, it's, showed it's one us. One word versus another. He, if, if, he's a, if he's a whistleblower, then it'll be him. Normally by himself. You know what I mean? So yeah, no, he has to go it's get him the and five other people. It's him and, and five other five people. Five other people compared to hundreds of thousands of people in America alone, not, uh, let alone the rest of the world. You know what I mean? Okay. Like I, who I, knows? I, who I, knows what the outcome of them will be? You know, they, they, they play they play chess, not checkers. So let me ask yeah, you. Go ahead and let them out question. there and say what they're gonna say. Them niggas is gonna sound crazy, and everybody know. And what we what are we gonna do? We're gonna put some. We're gonna put a, a book out here, or we're gonna put some information out here to to say, yeah, we we fat, we've sightings, but we didn't catch anything. Yeah, mm. we don't know what they're talking about. We yeah, we okay. have done this, we have done that. You know what I mean? Like that shit's not hard, especially when you're the fucking government to make somebody look like they fucking crazy to make the whole world look one way while you're doing something else. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me ask you a question. How pissed would you be? as a fucking citizen of the United States that they have this technology of aliens that can right. possibly help us, possibly advance us, and how scared would you be also as a fucking citizen of the United States that More there's scared. shit out there that our military doesn't have the capability of even fucking with? I think that now. It's like, but, a, fucking, uh, it's like a fucking ant fighting a giant with a fucking slingshot and not in a fucking giant has a fucking nuclear warhead. How scared would you be? You think the government is going to want to release? Hey, there's something out there. We know of it. We have knowledge of it. We recovered their technology, but we can't do nothing about them. If they ever decide to say, we're going to show up here one day and wreck shop. So what does that that mean? What do you you say that means? It it sounds like it's happening. That means keep quiet. Let make me dog. If I'm saying, I'm the fucking king of whatever. I'm the king of this country. So and man. I tell you, and I tell what king will come out and tell his people <laughs> that I can't protect this country, and but you should still listen to me. Fuck protecting Look, the country. Why, what the fuck? What the fuck? I gotta listen you to think you. Of the, you think you in the country? Even, I'm no, the I'm world, thinking Craig. the world, all the world. They all you can't protect me. Why the fuck do I gotta listen to you? Bring the fucking aliens here. That's who I should be listening to because. They can kill or Bring destroy me aliens. easily. You I think should that they're not going to create a dictatorship off of that alone? Off of the chaos that's being brought off of that? Dude, they could gonna, create they're not, they're just, you could create shit. Why do I got to listen to you? Once I get in contact with aliens, why do I have to listen to you? I'll go side with them because I side with you. Aliens, How you going to get in contact Bro, with them? 
I'm just you saying, what type if, of if they you do. knew they as a plan, here, if you knew as they stormed the capital of like Donald Mars Trump's attacks. State. They stormed the country, the capital of a fucking Donald Trump, what he said. If fucking somebody came out and said, I have contacts and I know I get in contact with these fucking aliens, we shouldn't be listening to the government. And they show you proof that they got contact with these motherfuckers and they can fucking bring them here anytime they want. I'm not listening to the government no more. You he underestimate the power of the government. Yo, he really does. The yo. government. Crazy, okay. I, why would I under? If you're fucking your best fighter planes that you have, your best weaponry that you have, can easily okay, be what manipulated. Are you gonna do something? If you're not listening to the government and you're going to do things your way, what the fuck are you going to do, Kev? Go and home with it is, Yeah, and it, uh, it can't be, a, it can't be a, a specimen to them. <laughs> it can't be, live can't in, be in a little cage. <laughs> get your, get your saying, body found the government will any time they feel like it. They're probing your ass and all of that. <laughs> you know oh, wow. The reason they're they, they not releasing this shit is because it's like, yo, I can't tell you that I have, I, I know these shits exist and I can't do nothing about them. It's fucking egg on my face. And another reason they can't release it is because if I do have alien technology that I recovered and I'm trying to reverse engineer, I'm in an arms race with the rest of the world. Like I don't want them. I don't want China to know that what I have because they ain't telling me what they got. Yeah, that's, I think that is the arms race who gets to it first. No, that part is correct, and I also think it's mass hysteria at the end of the day. Like yeah. if niggas know aliens exist, then so I, I think maybe I, so I get it. I think the wording is a little off as far as like listening to them instead of listening to the. I think that you don't trust your government after that. Because you're like, they can't protect us. So I do understand what you're saying. It's like they can't protect us. What the hell are we gonna do if anything goes 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 left? Yes, I do not think that they'll be like, oh shit, what y'all got to say, aliens? Let's do what the aliens say. Like I don't, I don't think that that's the case. But when I alien, do understand that alien, there is a fear there. If an alien ship dropped out of the fucking sky today, I'm telling you, I'm just telling you what the fuck I would do. You I'm going to fucking go like what you want us to do. No, I'm asking you. No, when I finish my thought before I get cut off by one of you motherfuckers, it'd be great. But go ahead. I'm going to storm the fucking grocery store. I'm going to load up and stock up as much food as I can. Probably get as much ammunition as I can, even if it does protect me or not. But I got to protect my family. I got to protect them the best way I can because the rest of the world's going to be thinking the same thing. It's like, yo. When we go send a fucking fighter jet at this thing that flies from the sky and you shoot a missile at it and it does nothing, it's like, oh my gosh, these things is coming here to destroy us. Let me do my best to hide, but still provide for my family and protect from other people. It's going to be other groups is going to be thinking the same thing. It's like, yo, I'm hiding from this shit. It ain't going to be, oh man, the alien spaceship came to the sky. Let me just go to Walmart, keep going grocery shopping like I've been doing keep paying my bills and going to work like I normally been doing and keep living like everything is fine where there's a fucking spaceship in a fucking sky that we can't do nothing about it. It's going to be fucking every man for themselves. Like it's going to be farm, fucking nigga. You ever see War of the Worlds? It was every man for themselves. By the time it happens, there is no I'm going to go th do this and do that. There is no thought process. There's just chaos, Kev. There's escape. It's fight or flight. You... Imagine seeing something yeah, that you've never you seen before, with. and it ain't, it ain't, it. You gonna, it's fight or flight. You ain't gonna know what to do. You know what I'm saying? And as Nigga, soon as I'm you become, a, as soon as you pose every gun as a I threat, own. as soon as you, as soon as they deem you a threat, you think that that gun gonna stop whatever they got coming for you? I should. Nigga, I'm not running not these work. motherfuckers to go fight them. I'm running the opposite way. Man, I am going. Away from these niggas, but I'm taking guns with me. So if I run into another human being and he's trying to take what I got to feed and protect my family, Homo habilis. Mm -hmm. Take his ass right out. No, I, I get that. That's why I said it would be mass hysteria. That's that's what I'm thinking. So I, I agree with that. It'll be mass hysteria if something comes out. And I think that's what the government is trying to is trying to prevent. Because with that. You lose control. There is no control. 
Because like, if, if a motherfucker say, oh, there's aliens, I can't trust the, uh, whatchamacallit, then it, then it becomes, all right, then what can we do? Protect my family, learn how to farm. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to the, the grocery store because I'm learning how to farm. I'm getting seeds and shit like that. Just a whole bunch of other shit that'll actually break society down. You know what I'm saying? And set us back and all that shit. So yeah, that's where that's where things become shaky. You know what I'm saying? Because I think if the aliens come out and start speaking, because you gotta remember, if we assume, if we assume that they can speak telepathically and all that shit, nigga, you lost the war before you even start. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. So because they, they could do other shit telepathically too. If yeah, they could just yeah, speak to you, they decide could to try to run, everything. run, and they stop you in your fucking tracks and make you turn around and walk toward them on your own. Yeah, it's then you so then you, okay, you stand so, no chance. So if they come down the second way, they come down and he's like, "Hey, bro, I come in peace. I've been trying to work with your government for years to better y'all they, lives." You saying they come to you the specifically? Government? No, they just they come, land. They land out. They do the same thing. They come out of the fucking sky. An announcement and no, I've listen. They fly out of the sky and they communicate with the whole fucking planet. Where I'm pretty sure they got the fucking technology to do. And they speak to every fucking human on the fucking planet and say, hey, bro, one alien we came in peace. We've been trying to protect your planet, <laughs> but your government's been hiding us from you. <laughs> we can provide so they, you a better, we can provide you a better life on the planet Earth. I, that becomes, I mean, then, it be, then it becomes war on Earth. I don't because know what the that people is. who try to leave, the government going to feel some type of way about it. You know, what I mean, it's it's going to be a war, no matter how you, how say, you look hey, at you it. Overthrow and your if there's anybody the that's an opponent, yeah, but who's to know what their real intentions is? You just yeah, going to accept what whatever. a foreign nope. foreign entity says to you. Yo, I can make your life better. I have candy. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what? That would have been a child stolen Whoa. early in life. If somebody nigga, wasn't this nigga that? last episode talking about he would leave with the aliens? He did. It was the he same thing the last did. episode talking about. They came yeah, but down. Alien, I would no, leave with them. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You go get me some alien, alien bitches. You <laughs> was going. Was that nigga the last episode? I'm about bitches. to run that shit back. He was the nigga last episode said aliens came and was going to fly me to a better place. I leave. Yeah. yeah. They yeah, you, you, you going to overthrow the government for it. <laughs> <laughs> they can do what they want. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm a uh, run to the stove. I'm gonna grab a bunch of food. Come back, grab all my guns, and bounce. <laughs> and bounce. I'm out of here. Or, or lock myself in. I, I'm not. The thing is, if something like that fucking happened, we will freak the fuck out. It's not gonna be 100%. like oh, 100. percent It's it's gonna be like what the fuck? How long have we known about this? Y'all lied to us. And what the fuck can we do about them? Like, are they they here for Nothing. hostile intentions? Are they here for good intentions? Like, why the fuck are they here? I don't think it matters. They could be here for hostile or good. You wouldn't know, and you would it would still be a bunch of people scared. I ride around here all I ride around where I'm at now, and I see people, and this is to me only shows how brainwashing occurs. I see people that hold up Trump signs that Ride around with the picture, the big life size picture of him in the back seat. Like they just they love this man. And I ask myself, why the fuck do you like, even if you're a fan, who the fuck cares? Why you gotta let me know? Like, why are you so adamant on letting everybody know that you love this man? It's weird, right? It's weird. But when you talk about how much people trust their government and how much people like what they believe that's distrust it's it's very hard to whatever you you know when I, that yeah it is distrust but like how much people trust in what what they want to believe is my point yeah you can do a bunch of shit and you can say a bunch of shit and a bunch of shit can happen and them niggas gonna be like nah such and such gonna save me we good like you understand what i'm saying like yeah the, the, they're, they're not the we're not the smartest bro <laughs> the human okay. race is not the smartest just being honest, it's, it's not even when it's you like, trust niggas to be smart, they just aren't. No, we're not. We, we trust. We trust the vote in one. I don't even person. know where I was going with that. I just know we ain't but smart. We trust. We trust in one person to rule over our whole country for four years and tell us what policies to put in place for everybody. I work with motherfuckers in the union, and they all can't agree on the same fucking thing about what they want that better them. So. Mm-hmm. 
No, fuck we don't trust in one but person I, to, fuck- to do it. He's just like our spokesperson. Just like at your job, you're like the spokesperson for whatever y'all got going on. If you're the lead, you're the person that's trying to do everything you can for your people. That's all the president is. Like, so what about the make spokes- the laws? He just spokesperson for the aliens. Yeah, yeah, what about spokesperson? I was like, hey, listen, we've been trying to get y'all to join the Galactic Federation. There's a another race of aliens out there that are in this faction and if you don't join with us and get our technology you can't protect your planet they they come to enslave everything i think that's the type of government I mean, that we have i would trust is, that i ain't gonna lie i would trust that yeah, yeah i think the type of government that. that we have they'd have volunteers to go and check it out first all right we'll send this amount of people there and if they don't come back with the data that we approve we know it's not true. If they don't come back at all, we'll never trust it. We'll never know if it's good or not. So we just won't fuck with it. You know what I mean? But They'll put people through trial and error, like monkeys in space type shit. But I'm saying, if they came down like that, because see, that's, here's the bad thing that can happen with that. Say this federation is le- all legit and it's like, hey, they really exist. They're really trying to bring us into the federation. Well, the bad guys that supposedly in the galaxy send somebody down our government is like, hey man, I can make you the fucking richest thing on the fucking universe, and I give you, and I'll let you inhabit this fucking solar system. You just gotta sell your people out. Yeah, I come up with something better than that. Yeah, no, no, I'm no, you're not hearing what I'm saying. He, he said sending in government yeah. officials, right? Say, say if they came to the United, say if these both these things came down to the United States. This is how greedy humans are. One said, hey, man, you join the Federation. We all equal. We all boom, 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 without blase, blase. Everything still goes on here. Earth is normal. You just get protection and technology from us. And the bad guys say, hey, uh, you 10 guys right there. You can rule this and everything in, in, in your solar system. But you fucking work for us. We just want to enslave your people. And we and then, and then, then them 10 officials be like, hey, them aliens that say they're from the Galactic Federation, they're full of shit. They're lying. They just want to control us. We have the way to protect our people. And you let the bad guys slide in. It's like, hey, man, niggas, what's fuck? Niggas been doing that. Yeah, I'm about to say. Right. You sound yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Bro. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing. It's like, man, that'd be crazy. That would be wild, though. That would be wild if like, they flew out of the fucking sky and the ones we're supposed to trust our fucking government fuck, make some backdoor deal with the ones we're not supposed to trust. Nah, come down. They made a movie. They made a movie. It's called Star Wars. It's called Star Wars. Nah, nah. They made a they made a movie about that. Uh, like three or four years ago with uh Jonathan Majors and the dude who plays uh uh in the Wu Tang TV series as uh uh as RZA. Can't remember the nigga name. He He always he always, he always acts the same. Nah, he was like a. He's like a, he's like oh, an actor, he but he's a producer or something like that. I think he was in Moonlight too. Yeah. Uh, but they made a movie about that where the government, where the aliens came in and the government made a deal with them and the aliens were pretty much like the rulers over the humans. They had like security, the army on deck, the whole nine. Mm. And uh, the government worked with them to keep people in a certain area they they could only do certain things and then when they went to jail they sent their asses to the alien shit for jail shit was crazy it was a good movie though i don't know that movie i'll tell you what it's called what right that? now yeah i'll look it up real it quick. just fucked up it's just like man i i like you said i think it would be mass fucking hysteria if they, if they drop from the sky yeah. and i really think what the government is doing right now is like putting out bits and pieces and, well, and, and leaking well, little by little for us to be like but let's let's go into it a little bit. I think the fact that they didn't just drop out of the sky means that there's already been a deal put in place. Now what? Like, hey, it's like it probably is. It's like, hey, well, listen, we're going well, to, would have we're to gonna start. You're going to start releasing bits and pieces of information so you can get accustomed to seeing us and to get accustomed to our form. So when we finally do appear, it's not fucking mass hysteria. It's more like, like hey, we knew you were coming. You finally hear like I'm not crazy anymore. Like you is know, that, we don't look this. It's a certain group of people don't look crazy. It's like everything we've been telling y'all is true. I told you they're here, and then it'd be like, all right, let's they come in peace. Let's trust them. But I'm saying, like right now, it will always be hysteria. I know. No I think in another, 
I'll give it another, I'll say the next hundred years. If the sightings increase more and more and, and, and our technology furthers more and we start saying, hey, there <clears> is <throat> life, we got you know, boom, boom, boom. What do they want by here? The time, by the time, huh? Well, they, they they to like, oh, I can reveal myself to you you guys it's like it's not going to be this mass hysteria the government got the government will say hey we got the technology if they do pose a threat to be able to you know combat them but they're not a hostile threat they're actually you know they're here on you know on diplomatic whatever shit I we don't were want, working with <laughs> i don't want to give this movie idea up but i feel like if you put yourself in the alien's place put the human race in the alien's place and let's say we found a underdeveloped by millions of years planet that we interfered with. What would we do? And why would uh, we do it? Let's say, let's say their planet was made of diamonds. No, oh, the type of government that what? we had, we would exploit them. Uh, and the movie the movie was called Captive uh, State. Avatar. Like Ashton Standard. But uh we would we Avatar. we would exploit them. Avatar, Avatar, uh, Avatar. Avatar did. Right. Avatar so there you go. That, add that. They wanted that planet. They went on their planet. They said, "Hey, listen, oh, we got the tech." They, yeah, they were still, they were still fucking around with horses and animals. They was all like connected with the planet and everything like that. But they yeah, were living on this fucking space rock. Yeah, living on this on this rock that's your sacred tree that's worth trillions of dollars if we fucking mine it. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna come down some diplomatic shit, try to work with you at first. But once we you got what we want and we can't get it from you and you won't move off it properly, we do like we do all the time. Blow you the fuck up, kill your whole fucking species, send you packing. Okay. If that happened, that's avatar. That's, no, that's an avatar. That's an avatar. That's why I said that that's that's what this is. Then that's what I this is. Listen. If like that's what it could be, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It could be that. It could be like, like fuck you, niggas. We try to come in peace, and talk to you. We just gonna take what we want now. What can you do about it? We're throwing fucking rocks at a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, we showed you. Like it's really like they really had UFOs reported cases of something flying over and hacking a fucking nuclear weapons facility. Our strongest weapons on the planet. They said, man, I'll turn these bitches against you. Show me the receipts. Show you the I receipts. Got the okay. Down the okay. okay, I'll get it for you. It actually show really me the happened. receipts. I mean, if you go to World Star and show me, I won't believe you. Because <laughs> um, I, I need to because because if that's the case, then then we really then then you it should be mass hysteria right now. What would you do, Dre? If you, if Nothing. you go to work home, no, what I mean, just think of, I'm talking, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about if there's mass hysteria, if shit is going crazy, your job's going to be shut down. Ain't nobody going to work. Everybody's going crazy because there's a fucking alien ship in the atmosphere that they said entered around the area of Texas and you can see it in the sky from your house in Florida. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'll probably start driving to get 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 my family together, start driving to uh to Jersey, like might as well hunker down together. You know what I'm saying? Get, maybe get some get some weapons for the same shit that Kev was talking about. You're gonna have to because niggas gonna try to come take your shit. It's, you know, it, it just becomes you, you know, you know what it you know what it becomes. Everybody's gonna try to take their space and you know what I mean? Like they're gonna try to take it by force. Hey, I know I'm about that had to hunker down. I'm not gonna hunker down here. I'm gonna hunker down and your shit because your shit bigger and you got more resources and fuck y'all. That's so yeah. I, I gotta go protect my shit. Same way. Same exact thing. Not the, fuck the aliens, because what can you do? Them niggas can come down here and mime you if, with their mind. You know what I mean? Hey, you break dancing for no reason. Doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? We see it in every movie. But the truth is, is like you're gonna fight them all. No. I mean, I would assume that when if they came down and they were ready to to go to war you'll the be recruiting thing, the first thing that they would do would be knock out all type of electronics all types of vehicles mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to fly in the air you wouldn't have no submarines in the water it, it, they would just be able to stop all that shit so okay, now it's just go. now it's just now you're on your feet if you can't beat them in hand-to-hand well, -hand combat it's a wrap <laughs> i could, I could imagine, imagine karate alien 
What if the Definitely. aliens come down knowing uh like one percenters in martial arts? Mm. Ninja jitsu. We're fucked. <laughs> We're fucked. They come down, they can fight for real. You know what I mean? So like, oh, that nigga got hand, that nigga got hands or whatever he has. Nigga drop down, <laughs> they they 15, almost 15 feet tall. That nigga got tentacles. Fucking, yeah, and these motherfuckers able to do martial arts to a different degree. And they phasing in and out in front of you. So it would yeah. reappear roundhouse. Hari Kari. <laughs> Hari Kari. You know just, I mean? just kill yourself. There right, you go. Because what can you do? The or become a slave. There you go. In testimony, Knapp said that the Russian had carried out what they had been the largest U.S. UFO investigation in history, spanning a decade, in which the entire brethren of the U of the Russian military excellent. He said he spoke to a Russian military officer, Colonel Boris Solovko, who said that there was no less than forty-five instances where U.S. UF uh, Russia fires had crashed with UFOs and uh, uh, caused a three incident result in the death two pause in, in UFO crashes. UFOs once took control of a Russian ICBM, nearly causing World War III. Where are you reading it from? They took over a base they, in Russia. A base was a Russian base would have fucking nuclear weapons was taken over and almost like they armed their weapons, pointed them at fucking America, and then shut it down. And they couldn't do nothing to shut it down. I remember you telling us that on the last one. Yeah. I said, where'd you read that from? My nigga, you can, you can just, you ever heard of George? Knapp? This is from a guy, George Knapp, who's been fucking investigating UFOs for, for years right now. And it's, and it's actually a case in Russia where they actually, like I said, it was an investigation. It's like, yo, we got hacked. Our, our weapons were armed. It was pointed okay. and then it shut down. It was an actual event that actually so happened. Tell me this. Why aren't you more worried? I am, nigga, listen. Why aren't we as a people more worried? If that's because a credible, we, because look credible how, source, because look how, why aren't we more worried? Look how, because look how skeptical you look at this shit. When shit like this happens, it's like, oh, no, no, no. But you look at, you look at people with testimonies like that have testimony like they, they're fucking crazy. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't believe because you just say what we always say. How come? How come we don't see it more often? Or why? Because why would I let you know? Why would I let you know that my fucking base was my nuclear warheads was hacked and I couldn't do nothing about it? Like Dre said early, you fucking mass hysteria. That's why they're not showing you. That's why they don't tell you shit like that. It's like, yo, you got something out there that can cause fucking World War Three. Niggas is Why are you still? Huh? Them niggas not coming from out of space. I'm gonna tell you that we ain't gotta talk about it. But that's that's my theory on that because I'm like the only reason why I wouldn't want you to destroy the planet. Resources, a hundred percent. I'm not like yeah, that is a credible thing. Other than that, hey nigga, I live here too. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically it. I, I live here too. Can y'all please not fuck up my roof? Yeah. Can y'all please not fuck up my backyard? The next, the next step is for us or to resources. And fuck you up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, maybe since we live in this dome that when we destroy something, we only destroy what's inside the dome. Mm. Okay. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Aliens are coming here to help us destroy everything. Destroy the dome. dome. Here, Ooh, we've been this. waiting to get rid of y'all niggas. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Man, I got here, something here, you can here. invent. An atom bomb. Give them that. CBS, CBS hey, News. That shit ain't work. Nuclear CBS bombs. News. Well, they... They're not using them. AIDS. Go over <laughs> there. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> damn! They found the cure. Which one Yo. of you niggas gave them the cure? Kill that nigga. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I got some Wait. real good. Do you, do, you, do you believe what? C do you believe what CBS uh, yeah. puts out there? Okay. CBS. CBS. I don't believe CBS nothing. news. I don't watch right. news. One or more oh, out of ordinary press conferences held. In Washington this week, consisted from a former Air Force personnel testifying the existence of UFOs and their ability to neutralize America and Russians' nuclear missiles. He testified in front of Congress that they have the capability of neutralizing our new, our most powerful weapon on the planet. Uh, he said more than a former than a uh, more than 120 former service members have told him that they seen unidentified flying objects near nuclear weapons storage and testing grounds. 
Stars and Stripes coded former Air Force Captain Robert Salas, who formed the Maelstrom Air Force Base in 1967 when 10 ICMs was overseen, suddenly became an operative. At the same time, the base security informed him a mysterious red glowing object in the sky. Let so this is from an actual captain in 1967 saying, hey, our weapons was fucking deactivated. Right. This act, this really happened. If so, you see a tall gray, okay, which is this type of alien that they that they say exists, and that nigga comes out and goes like this outside of a spacecraft and does it, I think you'll have more, more hysteria. Like that particular thing will be more like because it's always plausible deniability. Oh, that could have been any that could have been China. Like that's what they'll give you. I, I'm 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 speaking to the reason why there's not mass hysteria because they would they could just tell you anything that's what they do like the government is going to tell you their government is going to tell you anything just to not cause that but if you if that happens and it's undeniable yeah man you got a problem well that's the shit when it happens with the shit project blue book we was talking about earlier that you know they put this this group that's, of that's where they tell you how much a spaceship is worth right whatever no, Kelly nah. that, that fucking nah. group, that group right there, that group right there works works outside of the government. They work outside of the government. Government have the government. The government don't even know about these programs in existence. So they work outside. So when something like that happens, every one of them colonels always say somebody shows up, takes all the information we have, scrubs us clean. We hear nothing else about it. Where we we not allowed to speak up, speak about it, or talk about it. And, and they and, and they and they're gone as quick as they come they're gone we don't know who who sent them whatever but they got clearance to get on our base what what do you guys say to the long standing thing that there's aliens posing as humans in our government in all, every government what do you guys say to that like known like not nah, as alien jones or whatever the fuck it is like <laughs> that's a that's a thing like and what do you, and what if they're the they're the people who are in charge of scrubbing shit? Because to me that makes a lot of sense. Why charge why charge it to humans when you could charge it to them and they got better technology to get shit done? Mm. Well, okay. If 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 you had aliens inside of the government and something like this happened, why wouldn't they say, look, I got the same technology as them? I know who did it. No, from the aliens. Like the aliens said, yo, go down there, uh, James, and fucking be a part of that shit. You are representative. You work with them to make sure that our existence stays hidden. Probably, probably. Like, it's, uh, it's what's probably the alien from fucking, um, change, change. From the Marvel show on Disney with Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, the scrolls. ones who can scroll, scrolls. scrolls. Yeah, there you go. The scrolls can wasn't a good come show. down and change. Good show. That's, uh, but they were in the government. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. And they can, I'm not. They could be wearing human masks. They could be wearing. I know y'all saw these human masks that's happening right now that that people wear. That yeah. can wear. Yeah. Um, they, but what I'm saying is they can do yeah, that. What yeah. if? Or maybe they're you humanoid. They can wear. <laughs> no. What if they're yeah, humanoid? Yeah. Yeah, maybe There's they so just look like. Ifs, yeah, it's, it's a lot, but like I said, most of this shit, man, is not like more and more of this shit is coming out to be facts and this shit actually happened. It, it, you know, people are coming forward and testifying against this shit. And which is just like I said, what I keep finding strange about this shit that these programs that know about these aliens and everything like that, they exist outside of being fucking governed by our government. They exist outside of their law. You mm -hmm. know, they can't, they're not told to the president. They're not told to members of Congress. They just, they exist on their fucking, they're their own fucking thing. They do whatever they want. You know, they, they're essentially what, you know, fucking the men in black. <laughs> like, we mm -hmm. just show up, something happens bad, dealing with aliens, we recover everything. There's no need to tell you about it. You don't need to know about it. We're out of here. Because when you hear stories about people um, like Bob Lazar trying to re reverse engineer like a spacecraft, he's like, yo, he, how he described it was crazy. He's like, yo, 
a certain group of us work on one part of it. Another group works on another part. Another group works on another part. We are not allowed to have communications with the other three parties. We don't need, you know, we're not allowed to fucking, even though we might be in this base, we're not allowed to have no communication about what we're working on. They can't talk about what we're working on. It's like we're all, we all fucking, wow, who comments are these just coming through? That's my aunts. Rhonda Denise. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I just, I just saw, um, like, I don't know if y'all turned yeah, it like, on. Yeah. So it's like, yo, we can't, we can't fucking talk to each other about this shit. It's like this, this stuff has to be hidden. And it's like, it's, it's crazy. And he said, you know, our government doesn't even know about it. He, he's the reason he, the reason he got kicked out of program, supposedly his wife, they thought his wife was having an affair. They was tapping his phone. They thought he was going to fucking like lose his shit. So they made him out. They like, they kicked him out of the program, made him out to be crazy. Uh, say he didn't, you know, say he didn't go to certain schools, but he had the same stories about the shit he's seen. And what fuel was, I think was element, uh, what was that, 157 or something like that, which didn't exist in 1980, which was recently mm-hmm. found recently now that this element does exist. And even telling some people this for like the past 20, 30 years that this element exists. This is what they use to fuel the spaceships. And they said he was crazy. Mm-hmm. Now this element all of a sudden exists now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, which is crazy. It's like, so it's but like it makes the story even more believable. So okay, we know about it. It's just like, why are they not telling us? Is the big question is the big question mark is like, why is all governments trying to hide this shit? Because we that's stupid. The big that's well, my there's always stupid. There's always a little bit of truth in every big lie, but which part is a little bit of truth? Which that part is exist. a big lie? And is it here to harm us or hurt us? Either Both. way, I think the government finds a way to to advance from whatever situation is going on. I think they're indifferent. Who? Aliens. They're oh. indifferent. I think they're indifferent. They're they're like whatever, nigga. Just give me the precious poo, whatever they collect. Like you know, what I'm saying whatever they collect here. Oh, your grass shavings. Oh, that shit is so fire. Like. Whatever they need, as long as they get it, I think they're indifferent and they don't want you to destroy it. They don't give a fuck what we do. It's like it's business at the end of the day. If like, if yeah. we're going with that theory, it's business at the end of the day. Hey, I want y'all, you know, continue making those those juicy babies or whatever the whatever they need. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever those they juicy need, juicy babies. <laughs> whatever they need and whatever they, as long as y'all God. keep doing that, I'm gonna make I'm gonna get y'all technology you need some technology go cool, i'll give you some technology i got some in the closet here i got you know some hidden in the closet phones here, special here occasion <laughs> yeah like this is for y'all this is shit we throw away <laughs> yeah this is shit we throw away here this is shit i used 30 years ago I just keep making that fucking juicy oxygen whatever the fuck they need bro that's my point is that they're indifferent because if they weren't indifferent then they, I think a lot of things would be different one way or the other. We would even have world peace. Okay. We would either have world peace or we would be at war with them niggas either way. So they are indifferent period. Yeah. Listen, what was it? What was that show? Star Trek. The other theory could be like Star Trek. They was allowed to go around the different planets, but they weren't allowed to interact with the local species. Like they couldn't huh. go in there. They can go down there, like they would phase down and they would look like the, the inhabitants of that planet, but they weren't allowed to interfere with them. You know, they Take weren't. My ass. Right there has some alien babies. Go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. Why not? It's, Why not? Maybe. I don't know. So on that note, we're going <laughs> to wrap this shit up. Man. You know what I mean? Saying. Unless you got I know you would. I know you would have alien babies. Said that last episode. We had this joke last. I don't episode. care. I don't care. I know baby. it's true. 
spread across the guy. The baby maker has returned. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yo, why are they yeah, worshiping yeah. you like a god on this planet? Shut the fuck up and just go along yeah. with the flow. Or you know, <laughs> I'm having to throw your ass in that cave over there. Kev, shut Kev, the fuck up. Hop out of the ship. <laughs> it is I, the cuddler. <laughs> <laughs> bring your women to lust with me. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's what, that's what, <laughs> bring it. Bring, bring, bring that's your what they were saying. They, like, they was having these things in ancient religions. They was having it like they would give their virgins to the to the gods. <laughs> That's oh, crazy to me. The niggas was making out. <laughs> the niggas was more tight down. Like, yo, you yeah. trying to go back to America? Like we did the buy of the solar system and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know yeah. what? I'm done with virgins, man. That puts a little too tight. Let me get some that been around the block. Hey, bring me your whores. I will set them straight. <laughs> bring me. I will bring me the one straight. they call Lizzo. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus! Wow. Uh, you think they? Yeah. A fu- no. All right. Never mind. Nah, they they probably would. Probably, you know. Probably like Who's that. the most desirable to the aliens? Who would be the most desirable on Earth to the aliens? It'd be fucked up if the most Whoopi desirable Goldberg. person to them, the aliens, be like somebody like Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> goodbye. He has so both. <laughs> Closer, closer to them yeah, give me your yeah, give me yeah. give me your all in one. <laughs> give me the one oh, you God. they refer to themselves as them You're in all day. in one. <laughs> give me your all in one. <laughs> give me the one size right. fits oh, all. <laughs> That's disgusting. Did we here? I don't know. Did we we need to kick ourselves off. I'll kick. Our, I'll kick us off. All right, we out of here. Out.